Hello everybody, this is Julie um, from Life on the Scrappy Side. I published my, um, well I'm in the process of publishing my Valentine's kit today. Um, YouTube seems to take forever or the internet or something. But anyway, um, in my kit I put a large um, doily and um, it's a heart. And so I put it in there for the purpose of um, um, well, whatever purpose you want to use it for, but um, I made a pocket, or actually it's not really a pocket, it's like a cornucopia style, I can't remember what they're actually called, but it's a little, um, comes down into a point, it's usually a pocket, but of course in your in the album it'll be flat, but anyway, um, I just took and um, along the edges of the heart here, you, you fold from the tip down here, I took and folded um, straight up here in an angle um, so that the heart that's in the center is not really folded under. And I did that on both sides. Um, and it's not an actual complete point here. It just leaves some because you have to leave enough so that it goes beside the heart rather than pulling the heart into the fold itself. So anyway, that's what I did. And I took it all the way up to the top here. And I carefully pressed it close, uh, with my fingers because this, you don't want to use your bone folder on this lacy stuff. Anyway, so then in the back of it looks like this. Well, um, you can either take a piece of cardstock that it actually would fit and place it on the back of it and glue it down to, to make it into a secure pocket, um, which is probably what I will do. And that way, you know, you don't have to worry about getting glue through the holes or whatever here. Um, but then I made a little, um, <laughs> it looks like a pie wedge actually, but I made a um, insert for it and I took my Martha Stewart punch and just punched some hearts along across the top of it here and um, I'm going to use it for whatever. Um, I've not distressed it or anything. I don't know if I'm going to use it for pictures or actually probably journaling but I don't know that I'll journal on this side I'll probably journal on the back side because you don't really want all that showing through the little crevices here but anyway I thought I would just real quickly show you um, how I did that so that you know if you want to do that with yours when you purchase the kit um, you'll have an idea um, at least one I that idea and then I'm sure you have ideas of your own and um, I just wanted to real quickly show my little card I've been working on this kit I was trying to tell uh, you earlier on the video the name of the paper that I purchased through Blue Moon Scrapbooking and um, let's see it is by Fancy Pants that's who it's by and it's the really 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 vintage looking here's um, some of it here and here um, this one's brighter there's some that's brighter and some that's really dark um, like here are some of the tags from it. So it's like a the um, paper um, background on a lot of it and then sort of a lighter background on some of it. And anyway, so I printed out, this is one of the um, uh, printouts that I did, well I, I call it a valentine, for the kit that I put on today for the valentine kit. And um, this is what I did with it. I had some really pretty gold. It looks almost like a antique gold, actually, um, that I had purchased with my Can Company Christmas papers um, during Christmas time, which I've not had the time to even pull out and, and even touch yet. But uh, this this glittered paper come in the specialty pack for it, and I just love it so much. And it, believe it or not, it only had one piece in there, so I'm going to have to find some more somewhere. But like I said, it's it's not gold and it's not copper. It's like an antique gold, and I just oh, it just looks so good with these valentines. Um, but anyway, I took and put that on the front, and then I made it into like a little uh, trifold, and I took some of the from the edging and I punched it with my with my Martha Stewart punch and did an angle there, and then on this side, I did a up and down border that you can stick pictures under and then on this one I took the little hearts you actually the little hearts actually pop out of the 
punch. I love this punch. Absolutely love it. Um, and I just kind of glued, took my glue, my wet glue, and just stuck them down on here, and they, they stick really well. Um, my zig pin uh, glue. And I just tapped it down there and then set the heart down on it rather than trying to glue the heart and then stick it down. But anyway, um, that's how I did that. And I just love the way it turned out. And then um, that gold paper is double-sided, which is really, really cool. So I didn't have to worry about doing anything to the back here that was left on the overhang. Um, so anyway, I just I just love put a little tab back here. So I thought I would share a couple of things with you that I've um, done with some items that I put in the kit. And if I'd had this gold paper to put in the kit, I would have. Um, but I've almost used that whole sheet up. I love it to death. But anyway, I thought I would share that with you. And um, I'll let you know about the, the um, Valentine heart thing here, the Lacey Valentine. So anyways... I'm going to let you go, and thank you for stopping by to view my little video, and y'all have a good evening.